this is on wednesday morning i decided to prepare pancakes for my family mostly for my kids to have them before they go to school and to carry some for breakfast at school and for my husband before he goes to work by the way i'm not a morning person simply because of my baby boy when i wake up he will follow me so i just find it difficult for me to wake up very early to prepare breakfast for my family but since i have a a house manager she always prepares breakfast for us for the time being uh, as my baby grows this was kind uh, of morning routine so i prepared the pancakes packed them for my babies and um, served my husband so let's enjoy the video together give it a like share if possible and subscribe don't forget to click that notification bell for more interesting videos and so that when i post any new video you will be the first one to be notified i was through with the pancakes but by the way, i don't like preparing pancakes i think they take a lot of time and consume uh, a lot of oil that is me i can pre i can prefer cooking chapatis in the morning than preparing pancakes i don't know about you but for me is a no but for the sake of my family i'll do it over and over again so here i was through with frying the sausages and i served my husband his breakfast guys so i'm going to wash my face brush my teeth After that I had to take my breakfast because my baby was still asleep I could not go back and spread my bed so I went ahead served my breakfast as I do other stuffs and listen to some morning music to changamsha the the mind is it the mind or the soul <laughs> whatever <laughs> i really love pancakes with honey on the side i i find it very delicious Finally, my baby boy was awake, so I went back to spread my bed. I and by the way, if you you notice, I use two curtains, different colors. I don't use the curtain shears 
simply because of light. I don't like light penetrating uh, in my bedroom at night. I like total darkness when I I sleep. So <laughs> I usually use two uh, curtains and as the time goes I'll I'll buy heavy curtains for my bedroom. So I had to change the bed sheets, but I don't do that every day. I do it like after two days. And I had to change the pillow covers too. This was the following day on Thursday. I had already uh, washed my hair and straightened it because I was getting ready to travel the following day on Friday. So I had called my salonist to come and do my hair. I hope you're good. Me, I'm good. Today is on a Saturday. We are heading out. Me and my kids. We are going to Machakos County. So, first of all, if you're new here, feel at all. Consider subscribing for more interesting videos. To the returning subscribers, you are mine forever. Thank you so much for always coming back to support me. I really appreciate you. So, I'll be taking you along all the way to Machakos County and uh, for the few days we will be there uh, and by the way how is my hair uh, can you comment I feel cute uh, I'll pin not pin I'll leave the number of my salonist here on the screen if you're interested you can call her she is mobile. She can travel. She cannot travel anywhere. <laughs> Just around maybe Nairobi. If you are not very far from Nairobi, yeah, she will come. She does house calls 
and she does a very good job as you can see they are very neat and cute i trust her by the way so i'll leave her number if you're interested and the price is very fair yeah so guys let's go to machakos county and see and uh, how the climate is it's been long but then i'm going to visit my sister she's the only sister i have so let's go we passed by the supermarket and can you imagine this boy was doing the shopping for us He's barely two years and he already knows how to shop. He was taking uh, some cooking oil. He was just going around the supermarket, just picking things. He was like, you guys don't know how to shop. Just going, picking some chocolates, anything he comes across with. Hey, you guys... All that thing is a scam. arrived at my sister's place safely this was the following day in the morning just checking around and we went to the farm uh, with my sister of course mushene nini the only the only problem i have with my sister's place is cold my sister's place is very, very cold. The f in fact, the first night I was shaking the whole night. Uh, the next night I had to request for, for an extra bed sheet. And, but it's still okay because people there are surviving. But next time I'll be prepared so we are at the shamba at the farm picking some green peas the minji hii ni waru this is where potatoes come from so ziko hivi alafu huku unachimba huku chini unatoa waru this is what we had for supper that day and of course I was the chef and after that I didn't shoot any video at her place we came back this is after we we came back to Nairobi this is all that we got many goodie goodies the minjis, the maharagwe, the beans, the green peas, and the kunde, and the full chicken.
Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it. Let's prepare the minced meat and green peas. Remember, I always say all the spices that I use are optional. You can decide to use whatever spices you like. If you don't like spices, it's okay. Uh, so these mines are optional. At this point, our tomatoes were ready. We are already cooked. I added tomato paste and let it to cook for some minutes before I add my green peas and minced meat. As we prepare our food, let me take this opportunity to welcome all my new subscribers. Feel at home. Kindly subscribe. Feel free to leave a sweet comment and like this video. And to my subscribers, you guys are amazing and I love you so much. I really appreciate your continued support. Let's continue with the same spirit and let's spread the love. Yeah. I also love to give a shout out to my friend, my bestie, bestie. She's called Nyawera Nyawe Lifestyle. Go to her channel, please, please show her some love. Say, Jacqueline Phil sent you there. By the way, she does homemaking videos, 
motivational videos and she runs errands if you busy and you cannot uh, go to maybe kamukunji you can reach her out she does an amazing job so shout out to nyawera nyawe lifestyle go and show her some love So this is how our food was looking like. Very yummy. Yeah. And thank you so much for watching till the end. I really appreciate. Let's, let's see each other in my next video. For now, it's a bye-bye.